Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, it's Taylor, if you are new. Hi, hello, welcome, I'm glad to have you here. Today's video is an overnight process of me achieving this style of my hair because a lot of you guys have so many questions about it and I was like, I want to achieve it again, so let me just, you know, go ahead and record this right quick. So I recorded this last night, I finished around like 3 o'clock in the morning, but you know, results, they don't lie. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and see how I did it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications because the content is coming, okay? The content is definitely coming. It's on its way. It's here. So, hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned if you want to figure out how I did this. It'll be quick and it's kind of simple, kind of not, but once you do it once, you can do it twice and you can do it for a third time, <laughs> okay? So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm starting out on freshly washed hair. Obviously, it looks a hot freaking mess right now, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm taking my Not Today Kinky Curly Leave-In Detangler, and I use that as a leave-in conditioner and a detangler because that's the sole purpose of it. And right now, I'm just parting my hair into four sections to make my life a little bit more easy to do. There's no rhyme or reason to these parts, it's just four sections. So here I am putting the Not Today detangler into my hair. I'm smoothing it in first and then I'm taking my wide tooth comb starting from the end to the root to detangle my hair. This is going to help prevent breakage and breakage and ruining your hair. My hair looks so good. I've never seen it up close like this because you know it's the back of my hair but that bit is so shiny. Shout out to me. Yeah, just going to comb that through until the next step. So this is some Cantu Tea Tree and Jojoba Hair and Scalp Oil and honestly this oil is real bootleg because my mama was asleep so I couldn't go get the real oil that I use. But it got the job done for today so I'm just putting this onto my scalp. It's real 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 real, real thick so it's kind of difficult for me to squeeze it out the bottle. I'm really struggling but I'm going to put that on there and then massage it in and then finger comb as well as comb it through one more time. Next, I'm taking this heat protectant. I've been using this protectant for years. The lid is broken, so I gotta pour it in my hand. But this is just gonna protect our hair from the heat of the blow dryer. And yeah, so I put that in comb it and now we're all prepped and ready to blow dry so I am going to blow dry my hair on a medium to high setting and I'm a huge lace ball so I use the attachment that comes with the dryer that's just because I also don't know how to use the paddle brush and blow dryer method so this just makes it easier for me so I'm just gonna blow dry my hair section by section and then repeat. So once my hair is all dry, I'm just going to take a clip, 
clip it in and then move on to the next section I'm gonna speed up this next part just so you guys can see it again and then we're gonna move on to the fun part So now that my hair is all blow dried section by section, I'm just taking my blow dryer and going over my hair collectively as a whole to make sure it's all done. And we know that this is a task, especially for my girls that have lots and lots of hair and I don't even have that much compared to what I've seen. But it's tiring, so I commend you. So it's first step that we want to do. So as you can see here, I already did half of my hair. I like to separate my hair into four sections yet again, just to make things easier for me. I used pink, like a tealish blue, yellow and orange flexi rods here. And what I'm doing now is taking the back section of my hair and I'm making them smaller so I can work with that small section. And then I'm gonna clip the rest. Now the key to one of this um, process is making sure that your hair is completely smoothed. So I use a fine tooth rat tail comb to smooth out my hair. Now I'm taking my As I Am Double Butter Cream as a product on my hair and I'm mixing that with the Camille Rose Curling Milk. And I apply these to my hair before I apply the flexi rods and once I do that I use a lot of body edge control to secure the ends as you're gonna see in just a few So I'm mixing the two products together, smoothing it onto my hair and then combing it through with my fine tooth comb. And then I'm gonna take this section again and split it into two so that I have a small section to work with. Now I'm just going to take a flexi rod. It doesn't really matter what color. And I'm gonna start with securing the base. So I take the piece of hair I wrap it around the flexi rod while I'm holding the top of my base and that way this secures it and all I'm going to do is bend it over just like that so that way it's secure and it's tight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the hair and spiral it around the flexi rod and this is where the edge control comes in. I use the edge control to secure the ends. That way, since your hair is kind of straight, it's not going to come apart. So I'm just wrapping and smoothing the edge control onto the end of the hair so that way it stays in place. So I'm going to show you that again. So I'm smoothing a piece of hair. As you can see, I kind of forgot a piece in there, but that's okay. We'll just add it to this section. So 
for taking the strand of hair. An easy way for me to secure it is by starting to wrap it around and then twisting it up to the top where my hair meets my roots. Does that make sense? <laughs> where my root is, where the root of my hair is. And then I take the edge control and seal the ends in place. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna move the flexi rod to the back. So that way it's out of my way. So I'm gonna explain it again because that one was kind of hard to see. So rewind. We're gonna take a section of hair like so. Then we're gonna put the products through the hair. Kind of ahead of my video here. But uh, all right, Taylor, let's move. Am I separating this in two? No, I'm not. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna detangle the section. We're gonna detangle this section with the fine tooth comb. Now I'm going to take my double buttercream and my curl maker milk, mix the two together, smooth it down the hair. You wanna make sure that you put some on the ends too because that's the driest part of your hair. So I'm just making sure that my ends are fully coated with the product. And now we're gonna comb through it again with our fine tooth comb. Now, we're gonna separate the hair into smaller sections. And I'm gonna clip these out of the way. Boom, all right? Now we can take flexi rod of our choosing. It doesn't really matter what kind, what color, but just make sure your hair is super smooth. All right, so we're gonna take pink one. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so to secure the base, I'm going to wrap my hair around and then I'm gonna roll it upwards. So that way it's secure at the base. Bend the flexi rod over and continue spiraling the hair down. Take our edge control, secure it in place, and we have ourselves a curl. So now that everything is finished, I really didn't know how long this took me because I was taking breaks in between, but you need a lot of flexi rods. Obviously, I don't even know how much I have in my head right now, but I have a lot. So now I'm going to get my really large bonnet, put it on my head, and I'm going to go to sleep. It was really, really hard, but I did it. I made it happen. So we're gonna sleep with this overnight and then come back in the morning and see how to take them out.
Hey, good morning. It's the next day and if you're wondering, yes, I slept terribly. But we're going to take these down. Um, I did not make up while they were in place. And yeah, so I'm going to zoom it in just a little bit so y'all can actually see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start with the base and then unravel it. Fold the root, unravel, well, I have to unravel at the end, it will, and there's the curl. I normally start from the back, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to work any type of way. So we're going to unravel, fold the base. And then unravel. I'll do a couple more. Okay, now that we have taken them all down, we can see the volume that we are left with. And now we're just gonna separate each curl. And what I'm doing is just taking it, kind of taking it in the middle and separating it. And then I'm gonna curl it around my finger so that way the curl doesn't be disturbed too much. So I'm gonna go around and do this to all of my curls or to the ones that are kind of chunkier than others. That way we get more definition, we get more volume, and it's just overall a full type of vibe that we got. Now this last step is optional. I'm just going in with the pick and kind of just fluffing out the roots to give it a little bit more volume. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I just think I like my hair to be more big and more fluffy. And then I'm just separating the curls that I feel like could be separated a little bit more. But like I said, the pick option is totally optional, but it kind of makes it look a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. But this is how I achieve my loose curls. Flexi rods on blow dried hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was very insightful. And I'll see you next time. Bye.